The PIRGS Beamline number 04BM at the facility has been constructed and operates at the National Synchrotron Radiation Center Solaris, the Polish partner in CERIC. It is dedicated to soft X-ray absorption spectroscopy using a bending magnet as the light source. Besides, absorption techniques sensitive to X-ray polarization are available. The X-ray spectroscopy is a non-destructive method to study the chemical, electronic, structural and magnetic properties of materials such as powders, alloys, ceramics, superconductors, organic materials, thin films, nanoparticles on various substrates. To name a few research fields, XAS is used for fundamental research and industry characterization in the physics, chemistry, life science, materials and chemistry engineering, biotechnology, biology, material science, environmental engineering. When a sample is excited with X-rays, light and matter interact with each other and the atoms in the sample emit electrons and fluorescent radiation. Some of these electrons leave the sample and create a sample current that is measured for the total electron yield detection mode. This detection mode is very surface sensitive as only electrons from the uppermost nanometers of the sample can leave it. Within the fluorescence detection mode, a detector measures the element-specific photons. Photons can leave the sample easier than electrons. Thus, the detector registers radiation from greater depths of the sample. You may see an example of an energy-storing material measured in both detection modes. Another scan presents three separate layers of transition elements characterized with unpolarized light and elliptical polarization. The last detection mode is the transmission mode, where a detector is placed directly behind the sample. It registers how much of the incoming radiation has been absorbed within the sample. For this mode, samples need to be very thin, maximum a few microns with substrate, which requires special preparation. The beam intensity is at the level of 10 to 9, 10 to 10 photons and depends on the exit slits opening. As an example, we have determined the energy resolution and flux at the nitrogen absorption cage. Our energy resolution in terms of resolving power is 4000 and higher in the whole energy range. The beam spot size is defined by last toroidal mirror, a rich value full width and half maximum, horizontally 250 microns and vertically 40 microns. The Beamline's experimental chamber is equipped with a four-axis cryostat manipulator and an electromagnet with an external magnetic field of 140 millitesla. The measurement geometry allows to rotate the sample plus minus 90 degrees and apply external magnetic field along the photon beam axis. Moreover, the end station provides a separate chamber for state-of-art surface preparation and characterization. It is equipped with standard surface characterization techniques like Auger lead spectrometer, ion gun and vapor sources. The available sample preparation temperature is up to 2200 kelvins. We use flag style Omicron plate sample holders made of different materials, such as molybdenum, copper, stainless steel. That type of holders provide several possibilities for sample mounting. Samples can be crystalline, amorphous or powdered. They can range from metals over nanomaterials and polymers up to biological samples, as long as they are UHV compatible. We may use cryostat or high temperature station. The available temperature range is from 20 to 670 Kelvin. We have two calls for proposals per year. You may submit your proposals either via Solaris or CERIC. The PIRGS beamline is operated under the cooperation of Solaris with the Jerzy Haber Institute of Catalysis and Surface Chemistry, Polish Academies of Sciences, and the AGH University of Science and Technology. 
The consortium partners are involved in the Beamline operation and development. The PIRX Beamline is a great place to perform world-class NEXAV measurements. Spread the word about these significant research possibilities. We encourage you to apply with your experiments and projects for beam time at Solaris. For more information, visit the SERIG website. Thank you.